So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable your startup programs or login items on your Mac's operating system. Stay tuned. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today's gonna to be pretty short and sweet. I'm gonna show you how to remove login or startup programs from your Mac startup list. That way when you or another user logs into your Mac computer, it doesn't have as many things that it needs to load, hopefully giving you a little bit more speed. So let's head on over to the Mac and show you how it's done. Started, all you're gonna do is go up to your little Apple menu right there at the top and you're gonna to want to left click on the little Apple icon. From here, you're gonna to want to click on where it says system preferences and it's gonna load up the system preferences and we're gonna look for users and groups and we're gonna click on it. Now you'll need to do this for each user if you have multiple users on there since it's just myself that uses this machine, I just have the one. But essentially you're gonna click on that specific user, come on over to the right and you're gonna click on where it says login items. Now there's a few things in here that we'll want to take a look at. Obviously we've got the name of the program, what kind of program it is, which is most likely going to be an application you might have some other stuff in there. You will want to probably do a little bit of research, uh, but most of the stuff that's in here, if not all of it, uh, isn't critical to the operating system functioning. It's just extra programs that you've added on. So we've got Google Chrome, we've got an application. Hide, all that means is if the hide box is uh, checked, then it's not gonna show up on startup. So uh, unlike the max fan control here where it's not hidden, when I start up this machine, the max fan control application pops up on the screen and in order to hide that, I can click on the little checkbox here. Now hiding it does not remove it from the startup, it just makes it to where it doesn't show up during that startup. So to remove it, all you need to do is come on down to the little plus and minus here. Of course, you'll want to select which one you are trying to remove. We'll do the max fan control, and we're gonna go ahead and click on the little minus. You can see it says remove the selected item from the list, we'll click on that and it is now gone. So the next time you reboot this machine, that specific application will no longer run during the startup. Now, of course, you can always add them to the startup if you have specific programs that you like. You can click on the little plus, and this will bring up a, uh, a, an explorer window, essentially, or a window that you can navigate to that specific application. So I'm gonna click on applications, and I actually want to add one called Notion, which is my orga organizational software, so we're gonna click on that and I'm gonna just scroll through the list here until I find it. I'm gonna click on Notion and then I'm going to left click on Add. And you can see that is now in the list. I don't want it to pop up when I am there or when I log in or when I start the computer. So I am going to check off the check mark. So that is how you add or remove programs for the login items list. So there you have it. Like I said, super easy to do and hopefully this was able to help with some of the performance if your guys' machine is a little bit older. That is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We are definitely trying to grow our YouTube channel, and we would love to have you guys' support more than you, you've already done. And if you want to support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of cool merch over there that you guys can check out as well. And so with that being said, that is going to wrap it up, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>